Isolated in the South Pacific, New Zealand has a unique biosphere that makes it one of the most unusual destinations in the world, with flora and fauna that is found nowhere else on the planet. It's a country with a population of approximately 4 million people and one third of that population lives in Auckland. This multicultural city has recently welcomed a raft of bars, boutiques and restaurants, highlights locally made products from amazing New Zealand lamb, great seafood, fabulous wines, berries and vegetables with smell of earth. What also gives me a real kick is the hokey pokey ice cream and the flat white coffee. Hokey pokey. Wherever you're in Auckland, you're never far from the water. The sea and all its attractions are why it is known as a city of sails. New Zealand prides itself in its fresh produce and you will find many markets where the producers sell directly to the consumer. Meat, vegetables, cheese and fish. The only problem with these markets are that you have to wake up at the crack of dawn to get the best of produce. One such market is the Auckland Fish Market. The main building hosts a variety of retailers, shops, a market deli, cafes and even a seafood school for that matter. I must admit it's a little bit stinky out here. But then my hip and happening friend Nadia, this was her preferred meeting place. Am I happy about it? No. My good friend Nadia is half Malay and half Kiwi. She is this very bubbly and wonderful chef who has the sweetest smile in the world. She cooks exactly the way I like, honest and non-fussy. By the way, Nadia is also the winner of MasterChef New Zealand and the last time I met her, she promised to show me some of the best food markets in Auckland. Obviously, she forgot to mention that I had to wake up at 4 in the morning. There you are. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, All right. welcome Thank to you. New Zealand. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, you too. You couldn't have chosen... How are you? Keep your dirty hands welcome. away from me. You couldn't have chosen <laughs> another place to meet, right? Oh, but it smells so beautiful here. I know, my laundry <laughs> bill will be sent to you. <laughs> The fish here is so fresh that it seems that they almost jumped off the boat into the display cases. Red snapper, kingfish, salmon, also shrimps, which actually are not kiwi. I thought maybe I'll do like a surf and turf dish for you. Okay. Why yeah? Not? yeah, something like from the prawn. sea, something from exactly. around the farm. So shall we just take some? Yeah. yeah. The inner city suburb of Ponsonby is a charming neighbourhood whose main drag, the mile-long Ponsonby Road, is lined with cafes, bars and boutiques. Ponsonby Central is a new complex packed with small restaurants, shops, a bakery, an organic market and yes, a butcher too. And this is where Nadia likes to buy her meats. Good, thank you. Good. We're, we're wanting some lamb rack. We're going to do a lovely salsa verde lamb rack, just um, cook, cooked in the oven. Yeah. Do you want two from here, or would you like me to cut some up for you? The one which is hanging there? How yeah. fabulous is that? Yeah, how long has that been hanging So that's for? been hanging in the chiller now for about Three, five days. days? Yeah. For five days. Yeah. And she made me come at seven in the morning to buy lamb which was hanging for five days. <laughs> what, what sense did that make? <laughs> so before anyone else gets it, if exactly. we didn't come this early, there's enough meat in there. There's it. enough meat in there, right? How many racks are you going to get out of that? Uh, we'll get two racks out of that. Oh, there. only two. Okay. And each um, rack will have how many cutlets? It should have eight cutlets. Eight, eight, eight cutlets, yeah. yeah, should be great. Thank Fantastic, you. thank right. you. So this is the Ponsonby market here. Yes, and there's a great fresh produce market with lots yeah. of fresh fruit and vegetables. And also I saw some nice cafes also. Yeah, so there's right. produce and cafes yeah, and restaurants. Got everything here. This place is bustling with locals, sipping their flat whites and going about their daily business. When you see and smell the vegetables in Ponsonby market, you really understand why New Zealand is known all over the world 
of its top quality vegetables and fruits. This, yes, this is a is New Zealand staple. National kumara. vegetable of New Zealand. Isn't it pretty looking? <laughs> That's golden kumara, so it's yeah. a bit more of a goldy yellow yep. colour. And then orange is my personal favourite. Yes. Uh, just because it looks so beautiful yes. yeah, when it's roasted. Bright orange. So which one are we using for I think then we should have a variety. And so then you can choose which is okay. your favourite. So we so do. One of each. Yeah. So I do love kumara. It is a kind of sweet potato and has been grown in New Zealand since the Maori first came here. This island is a paradise for all varieties of this lovely root vegetable. As soon as we finished shopping, Nadia was all ready to start cooking. She would not even let me stop for a coffee. The menu for today is surf and turf, something the Kiwis just love. Anchovy marinated lamb chops and kumara served with pan fried prawns and kale. Did you see that? She is a master chef New Zealand, so of course she has to show off a little bit and do all the chopping etc. Alright, continue. <laughs> so that's parsley that's and you're going to put some anchovies in it. Yes. I shouldn't have told you. They look a bit slimy to me. I know. How can anyone like these slimy little things, right? But I shouldn't say that. As she correctly said, it's so often used in Italian food that I should actually love anchovies. But the truth is, I hate them. For the marinade, she adds olive oil, lemon zest and juice, anchovies and fresh herbs. Nadia refuses to use Italian olive oil and insists this recipe is 100% kiwi. I tasted the New Zealand oil and I have to admit it's luscious, deep and delicious. So let's spoon some of the marinade onto the lamb. Do you want me to do lamb? that? Whilst sure. We can go that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take. Your turn to get your hands dirty. Exactly. Can't wait. This is your favorite part of cooking, Absolutely. isn't it? The massaging. Exactly. <laughs> While I give it a good massage with the marinade, Nadia quickly chops up all the kumara. So there's our go. I love the way she has treated them. A simple marinade, oil, honey, salt and pepper, and then cooking it with the lamb. Olive oil and salt. Can you pass me the oven tray, Absolutely. please, Richard? Absolutely. Thank you. We're going to mix the two. Yes. We may as well roast it together yeah, so it's exactly. nice and easy. Okay. So now this just goes into the oven, right? 200 degrees for about 20 minutes and then your lamb will be about medium. Medium rare is fantastic. Perfect. And now the surfing part. The surf part. The tough part so is over. We've got the turf part. The tough part, same thing. <laughs> and the surf part. Okay, what are we going to do with it? So some prawns. I thought, no, you could peel them, but never mind. No, it's always this nice, but also the skin. Because yeah, it is. It's yeah. moist and it's nice. The lamb is going to be accompanied with prawns, which are just stir-fried on a high flame with some salt, lemon juice and kale leaves. Kale is one of the healthiest leaves and tastes absolutely fab. Yep, some salt in here. I'll get the lamb, it should be about okay. ready now. Yeah, the prawns and the kale are ready as well. Let's turn it off. I taste some of the kumara. Mmm. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. Yeah. The lamb rack cooked Why medium rare. Glazed with its own juices, honey roasted golden and yellow kumara. Served with prawn and kale. You really don't need any other flourishes when you serve it. Full of textures, colour, I just can't wait to taste it. This is heaven.